2019 safety alert. Drownings claiming the lives of two people in recent days in our area. With the summer season upon us, it's a stern reminder about awareness and safety while around water. Michelle Nix has how you can keep yourself and your family safe. A holiday weekend, warmer temperatures and the lure of beautiful water here at Edgewater. It's a recipe for fun, but it can also spell disaster. One person has already drowned out here this week. Another person has drowned in Ashtabula. So what are you doing to stay safe in the water? Dozens can't resist a dip in the water at Edgewater Park. And even though so far this weekend there have been no signs of trouble, experts say drowning is fast and safe silent. It can also happen in as little as 20 to 60 seconds. To me, it's scary. <laughs> to me, the water is actually scary. So most of the time I'm holding the hands, especially if they little. You always hold the hands and make sure that the water doesn't go above their stomach. It was just a few days ago when the body of a 21 year old man was pulled from the water at Edgewater Park. An 18 month old girl drowned in a pond on Friday in Ashtabula. That's why this Parma father and daughter have had the talk about staying safe in the water. I used to be a lifeguard when I was younger. So I, I tell my daughter to stay visible. I, I'd like her to wear high vis so at least I know where she's at. We have a bright green donut so I want her to swim. The donut helps with safety. I tell her to watch, play around other people. This way, if there is trouble, other strangers might be able to help her too. Great advice along with these YMCA water safety tips. Never go swimming alone. Always swim when there's a lifeguard. Know the basics like floating on your back to keep your face out of the water and stay where the water is shallow and don't panic. When people say I'm going too deep, I don't, I go less deep. While there are a number of suggestions to keep you safe in the water, what's most important is that you never go swimming alone. Reporting from Edgewater Park, Michelle Nix, 19 News.